It's the BYU Sports Nation stat of the day. Whitney Orton set a world record by running a mile while dribbling a basketball in 4.58.56. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> That's incredible. And the new world record holder, Whitney Orton, joins us now on the Deseret First Credit Union Hotline. Whitney, welcome back to the show. How did you come up with the idea to dribble a basketball in a mile faster than anybody else has ever done? Um, it was definitely just Coach Taylor. She saw it on social media. She saw this high school girl that just broke the record, and it was kind of just like a funny thing. And it kind of became a bigger deal since everyone else has been talking about it. But it was honestly for fun. But, yeah. Okay, how fast can Coach you run Taylor. a mile without She's a basketball? Uh, my best time is 429. So you only added 29 so. seconds with a basketball? Is that what you're telling me? I guess. Wow! <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> okay, it, we, we know you have game. Uh, where are you, by the way? Who's around you? I am outside the Smithfield house in a corner. Hopefully no one can hear me or see me. What? But they probably can. <laughs> will you um will you turn the camera and and make sure your volume's up all the way for a sec? I want I want to say something to the people. Okay, yeah. There you go. Some golf carts. Go ahead, say it to them. Oh, oh, you're in a go Oh, you have an earpiece in, I'm told. I was going to say, "Hey guys, we're shooting an interview here." <laughs> Quiet down. <laughs> okay, what you did is incredible. Yeah. And you're just yelling you, in my ear. Yeah, I'm yeah. basically my, my mom does that with my my son too. Hey Tate, I'm like, it's an AirPod, sorry. Uh, you did it with Anna Camp Bennett as well, which was really impressive. What what was it like to do this and what what kind of reaction have you had from from this world record? Um yeah, it's like I said, it's definitely like blown out. I think it's been blown out of proportion. Honestly, like it's for fun, you know. But everyone's been just kind of messaging and doing all these. I don't know. Everyone's been reaching out about it more than I have with other things that I actually care way more about. So I'm like, dang it. <laughs> but also, like, this is so nice. But yeah, it was fun to do with Anna. And yeah, we both played basketball in high school, and we kind of we play one-on-one -on -one a little bit every once in a while to just keep our game, you know, a little bit. Who, who wins? So it was fun to do it with her. Uh, <laughs> should, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> say, I don't know. <laughs> were, were you afraid that you'd ever <laughs> kind of kick the basketball or dribble it off your knee and you'd have to chase it down and that would affect the run? Because I'm assuming you'd have to grab the basketball and keep dribbling, right? Uh, yes, so you like can't lose the ball, I guess. Ooh. That's like one of the rules of the, the basketball mile, you know? So yes, like that was definitely something to think about. It, it was so weird to combine the two because it's a different form than basketball when you're dribbling. You're like down in defensive position. But like in this, like with running, you want to be like straight posture, like relaxed and like not thinking. But you had to think while racing a lot because you wanted to focus on the ball and not kick it and so it was just a very weird combination of things but yes definitely was worried about that i felt like i couldn't kick it in at the end as much as i wanted because it wasn't worth to lose the ball i feel like <laughs> it would have been work but i feel like it would have been awesome if there was a referee with you running alongside just to see if you traveled <laughs> <laughs> he's like <laughs> <laughs> that would have been really funny Whitney Orton with us on BYU Sports Nation. Are you in the right sport? Do we need to contact Jeff <laughs> Judkins and get you onto the women's basketball team? <laughs> my dad has been telling me that. he's He wants me to, like, use my last year for basketball <laughs> by my dad. I, I do love basketball, but I don't know. I don't know about that. <laughs> you could be BYU's first four-sport athlete because you're already in three cross country, indoor track, outdoor oh, track, you're right. and then women's hoops. I, I think, I think we ought to seriously consider this because that would be quite the feat. I mean, you're already accomplished. You now hold a world record, which by the way, was it a Guinness world record? Was it a world record with something else? We've always heard Guinness. What, what, uh, what is it? Honestly, I don't even know. <laughs> like, I, I'm the worst. It doesn't matter when you're the record holder. <laughs> <laughs> yep. That's all. <laughs> Explain your life without a cross-country season right now. I mean, you're breaking world records. You're staying busy, clearly, with school and whatnot. But what, what's life like without an actual season? 
yeah, it's so weird. Like Coach Taylor's trying to make it like similar with training so that we are still getting fit and getting better and stuff. And she's been setting up like inner squad races and stuff, but it's definitely different. It's it's kind of hard to have the same intensity a little bit. Like it's definitely one of my struggles. So I'm I'm mindfully trying to be as intense in workouts and things without having races, like actual races. So it really is different, but it's good that she's been creative and giving us basketball miles and stuff to kind of put our attention to. But yeah, it's a little weird, but we're we're just trucking along, you know. <laughs> Listen, 2020 is going to be weird, and we're going to put on the list, you know, hey, we saw a basketball mile world record of you. <laughs> like, that's awesome, right? Um, how's school right now for you? Do you have all right, do you have a mix of in-person and virtual classes? I know it's unique. So I was talking to one of our camera operators here. She only has virtual classes, right? Um, for me, I have one blended. I had one that was online. Uh, it got moved, or I got had one that was in class, but it got moved to online. And then, so yeah, most of them are online, but still going to come on campus. So that's nice. Whitney, it's great to catch up with you. Uh, congratulations again on that world record. Uh, you've depressed most people because they can't run a mile in under six minutes, let alone in under with five a basketball. minutes or with a basketball. But uh... Oh, no. <laughs> That's uh, not, that wasn't my intention, okay? <laughs> I kid, I kid. No, outstanding stuff. Um, let's give you some karma for school, and we hope to see you running uh, against other teams very soon. Thank you very much. You got it. Whitney Orton on the Deseret First Credit Union Hotline. Deseret First, you know why we show how. I'm serious.